Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of our next 20 minute playbook episode, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined by award winning designer and entrepreneur Joey Cafone. Joey is the founder and CEO of Baron Fig, which is known for its incredible pens, notebooks, and journals like James Clear's Habit Journal. He's also the author of a brand new book called The Laws of Creativity, where he breaks down creativity into 39 laws that anyone can follow to become more creative. In tomorrow's book club episode, we break down the laws of creativity, turning 400 pages into an interview you can listen to in under an hour. It's an incredible conversation you don't want to miss. Here's one of my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. I want to close by talking about two things that are related to the book, but aren't the book. And those are the process of writing the book. I've got a couple questions there. Then I want to talk about Baron Fig because I can't not ask you a few questions, at least about Baron Fig. The question that I wanted to ask around uh, writing the book is just, you know, and I grabbed some of these from your newsletters. So I'll, I'll read them in just a second. But um, I, you were super openly shared how you wrote the book. So obviously you have a writing background, but what I thought it was just amazing. I always think it is helpful to kind of demystify something that feels big and magical like your book does and turn it into something that feels extremely pract- you know, practical and, 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 and simple. And I'll, I'll read just two quotes of things that you did to try to force yourself to write this book. So one was, you know, you talk about, this is in a newsletter called Strategies for Personal Accountability. We'll link to it in the show notes. You can find that at outlieracademy.com. But you talk about, you know, that you used a habit tracker to write and it took you 199 writing sessions at 417 average words to complete the first draft. So I thought it was just cool. And I'll ask a question in just a second. But another technique that you used, it's from the same newsletter, was you talk about that you love to play video games. And when writing, for example, you didn't allow yourself to touch a game controller until you'd written 200 words, which is another just amazing hack of, you know, again, just carrot on a stick. Um, so I want to ask a question about these writing sessions. And my question is, what did they look like? And I guess what I'm curious there is, you know, specific time of day, location, any specific tools that you use? Yeah, great. I'll answer all those. Then I want to give, I think, one of my most valuable tips that I haven't mentioned. So also well done on, you really, you really did the work to, to pull value out of a, you know, a, a conversation. So major props. Thanks. I appreciate it. As far as, you know, how did I, practically speaking, how did I write the book? It was during the pandemic and I still had to work a full day and it was a stressful time for obvious reasons, running a company, figuring out the pandemic. We were all, and by all, I mean, planet earth was, we're all stressed to say the least. But then I close my laptop at the end of the day. I actually pick up my iPad and I wrote it on my iPad. I use the keyboard that uh, Apple, I think it's in the other room, that Apple uh, makes with it. And to my surprise, I used a program called Ulysses, wrote it on an iPad, never thought I'd do that. And uh, a lot of the times I was actually just lying in bed, like totally lying down, like not even sitting up. Like I was like, just had my head propped up and it was on my chest and I was just typing away and then I was exhausted, but I was thrilled to get to this project. And I had a goal every day of 200 words. As you can see, I did 417 on average. There were some days I pumped out 2000 and there were some days I did like 201. And I was like, that is it. Just hit it. <laughs> yeah. But I made the book go forward every day. That's kind of the practical, you know, picture, but one thing that I think really changed the game for me is I did something that I avoided a trap that a lot of writers fall into going back. I had a rule that I would write the chapter from start to finish. I would let my wife read it out loud. So appreciate that, Ariana. She read it out loud. She'd give me some feedback. I would also see in her eyes what was confusing and what wasn't. I would make my edits. And then I never looked at the chapter again. I didn't even read it, ever. It was in the Ulysses. That was a dead to me. And I went to the next one. And, you know, if you read the book, you can see I do speak to each chapter. So I added that later. Didn't worry about it at the time. I wanted to make progress because I know that, especially with writing, you can go back and just edit to death. And it wasn't the time. I mean, it's the end of choosing when to finish and this like never ending finish line. Yeah. Dividing in half. Absolutely. So I did 82,000 words in 11 months. And actually uh, I wrote a lot because I thought that I had this idea that you lose 10% in editing. So I wrote a lot because I'm like, great, a lot to work with. 
Uh, well, my editing team, you know, four people who did a wonderful job, they loved what was there and wanted me to add more, which I did not expect. So the book ended up being 92,000 words. And I actually had to write a couple chapters after the fact, two chapters specifically. And um, it was a, an amazing experience. Nothing I want to do right now. Again, I give that like a decade. You're taking a break. You're yeah, a I'm break taking a big a ass break. You can come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was rewarding. And so the biggest tip I can say is like, if you're writing something, you know, whatever section or chapter you're on, don't go back once you write it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep moving. It's like, reminds me of that quote, you know, movement is life. You just got to keep yes. making progress.